Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another declutter and organize video and we are gonna be doing my master closet, but I'm so excited to get in here and declutter and hopefully give you guys some cleaning motivation today. I'm also excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Emily and her channel is Mama From Scratch. And if you're not already subscribed to Emily's channel, then definitely go over as soon as you get done watching my video and subscribe to her because she is gonna help you guys save tons of money on her Dollar Tree DIY. She does decorating, cleaning, and she also has the cutest little family. I'm gonna have a link to her video down in the description box. She's doing a decluttering video as well, so go check that out as soon as you're done here. If you're coming over from Emily's channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. I hope you'll subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Say hey in the comments and let me know that you're new, and hopefully we can get to know each other. So if you are new, I've been doing a declutter with me series and I'll have the link to the playlist down in the description box in case you wanna check out some of my other decluttering videos. I did my master bathroom, my kitchen and laundry room. So all those will be in that playlist, including this video. So hopefully if you need to declutter your house, you can find one of those videos to get you motivated. Also, in each of my decluttering videos in this series, I'm giving away an item at the end of the video, so stick around to the end and see what you could enter to win. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you what my closet looks like to start with. It's a disaster, so I'm warning you, don't judge. <laughs> Alright, so this is what my closet looks like right now. It is a huge disaster. We just have so much stuff and... I'm so ready to purge. Y'all let me know if you are feeling the same way at the beginning of this year in 2019, if you are feeling that way too. Um, this basket right here is actually all stuff that we are already getting rid of. I just need to go through it. But this is my side of the closet and I am so ready to get rid of a lot of clothes. I know I do this every year, but this year is a little bit different. I am ready to get rid of tons of stuff so these are all dresses and things and then i have purged shoes recently but there might be a few to get rid of i'm not sure i know a pair of sandals a couple pair of sandals maybe and then chances shoes are at the bottom and then i'm thinking back here i have to declutter one of my other closets so i'm thinking back here i might end up putting a couple of baskets to put throw pillows in that we are not using for like to store them and then this is Chance's side. I am not going to touch his clothes because he can do that on his own. And I'm not going to get rid of any of his stuff. So this is what we are working with today. So the first place that I started was with my dresses and rompers. And I pulled all of this stuff out just to see what all I had. And then went through and decided whether I was going to keep the items or get rid of them. So I also know that the big rage recently has been the KonMari method and I love her method but I know that she also says to pull out every single piece of clothing that you have and purge it and go through it all at once. But for some reason that really overwhelms me. I've tried that and I've actually done it in the past but I get super overwhelmed seeing that much at one time so I try to break it up. A little bit at a time and I started with dresses and rompers first and then I went through and I didn't actually pull out each thing in my closet when it came to like shirts and everything but I did touch every single piece and decide whether I wanted to keep it or get rid of it and I feel like that helps me but like I said I do love bits and pieces of what she does and will continue doing those things but we'll also do what works for me and I would love to know what you guys think about the KonMari method do you love all of it are there bits and pieces that you you change up to make work for you because I know we'll all have different opinions but we have to remember that just because something works for someone doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone okay so this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of out of the closet y'all this is a lot of stuff I mean I'm gonna show you from this side all these hangers look at all that so I'm getting rid of all of that this stuff I still need to get rid of I'll show you what's left in the closet. So I have an Elsa dress, y'all, <laughs> to dress up with Gracie June. So I still have that. Um, that's all the dresses that I ended up keeping. Um, this is actually a shirt. It needs to go over there. But, and then 
These are the shorts and cardigans and a jacket. I love me some graphic tees. Um, and then these are the pants that I'm keeping. So I still need to organize a little bit in here, but yay, I'm so excited to get rid of all this stuff. All right, guys, <clears throat> so it's the next day. I only literally pulled out everything yesterday. I didn't really get to do a lot with the clothes because by the time, I just started too late. So by the time that I had everything pulled out, it was time for me to go get the kids and then I hung out with them after they got home. I try to do all this stuff while they're at school. And so now I'm about to go through all the clothes and make a donate pile and a sell pile. I did put a few things on Instagram, I think, that were on the top, but I just didn't have time to do anything. So now that's what I'm gonna do is create separate stacks. So originally I would planned on selling a bunch of this stuff on Instagram, but I've done Poshmark in the past and it always took way too long to upload, put in the details and everything. So I decided to do Instagram and realized quickly that it takes just as long. So then I asked a bunch of you on Instagram what you do when you have a huge purge of clothes and with the help of some of my local followers and friends, um, I was able to find a consignment shop here in Savannah. So I'm gonna take m the majority of my clothes to the consignment shop instead, just to make it a little bit easier. And then in the future, if I have a few items to get rid of at a time, then I will post those on there for sale. Now, I do still have to go through Kaysen and Gracie June's closets and get rid of things as well. And so the nicer items that, that are in their closets that I'm getting rid of, I'll probably put those on my Instagram account to sell. And then the other ones, I'll end up just donating. So if you're looking for kids clothes, I have boys probably sizes six and seven to get rid of. And then maybe some smaller clothes than that. But then girls will be like 5T and under. So if you're looking for those sizes, then definitely follow my Instagram account here and I will be selling some of their clothes soon. All right, so this pile right here and this pile in the laundry basket, I'm actually gonna be taking to consignment and then this whole pile is what I'm gonna be donating to Goodwill. Cooper, is this exciting? Okay. The next thing that I did was I took all of the clothes or shoes and everything that was on the floor and put them out of the closet so that I could vacuum and clean up in there. And then I also went through all of my towels. We had a ton of towels stashed in, in here and I went through those. I kept a few and then I plan on getting rid of the rest. So that made up a little bit more space in the closet as well for anything else that I wanna do. So then after I vacuumed, I did go through and organize, but I didn't film that part just because I could not get a good angle for you guys to see what I was doing. But I went through and organized my clothes the way I wanted them. And then I also ended up putting some of our throw pillows up on the top. I organized our suitcases and all of that. So you'll get to see that in just a few minutes at the end. But I also want to know if you guys have a system on how you organize your clothes in your closet because I'm going to show you in a minute how I ended up organizing mine. But um, I know that everybody has, like I said, something different that works for them and I'd love to know what works for you. Okay, so this is the final result of the closet. And I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm just going to show you guys what I did. Our laundry basket is right here. I did not touch any of Chance's clothes. But I did put all of like those suitcases together. And then I took all of our throw pillows that we have for like the living room, the beds, everything. And I put, ended up putting them up there so that it was easier to store. Put all of those suitcases together. And then I didn't really touch any of this stuff. That's like all of Kaysen and Chance's camo stuff. And then a few bags. My scarves are all in here. And then I have um, my purses here. And this is what I was left with for dresses and rompers. And I just kind of organized them by long sleeve, short sleeve, and then sleeveless. And then my rompers are here. And then moving over here, these are all of the pants that I have left. And honestly, there are a few that I'd like to get rid of, but I need to replace first with that same color. And then these are all of my graphic tees. I did all the short sleeves in the front and then long sleeves and then a couple of sweatshirts. 
And then back here, I have all of my jackets, then sweater, or then cardigans, then sweaters, then button ups, short sleeve shirts, and then tank tops. So I don't have them color coded or anything, but this is actually what works for me. I know a lot of people like to color code, but I'd rather have them by style because I don't pack up like my winter clothes or anything. I just keep them all out year round. Um, it just works for me. So I do eventually want to get all of the same matching hangers, but that's going to take a little while. I know somebody's going to say something about getting matching hangers and yes, I really want to, but that will be another project. And then here you can see my shoe shelf. I got rid of a, a few pairs of shoes. Then I put chances extras that could not fit over here. And then mine over here, all of these are like too tall to go on our shoe shelf. And then I put our towels here. These are extra towels. If you saw my bathroom declutter video, I do have some in there as well. And then back here, I have our hand towels, wash rags, and then extra sheets back here for our bed. And that's it. So I really like the way it all turned out. I love that I have all of my pillows up there for storage instead of in bins. It's just going to be so much better. All right, so now that you have seen how the closet turned out, let me show you the stash that I am getting rid of. It's a lot, guys. I can't believe I had this many clothes to get rid of in my closet, but let me show you. All right, guys, so this is the final pile that I'm getting rid of. I added some shoes and things in that basket and then some more towels on top. I mean, look at all this. This is two, two big laundry baskets full of clothes. Woohoo! All right, y'all. So this is the giveaway portion of the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you a lot of cleaning motivation or motivation to declutter in your own home, whether it's your closet, your clothes, your um, bathrooms, whatever it is. Um, I hope that it was helpful and gave you some motivation, but I'm going to be giving away another Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and the honeysuckle scent. You guys were all saying in one of my other videos recently how much you really wanted to try this stuff. So I definitely want to give it away again. It's one of my favorites. Honeysuckle is my absolute favorite Mrs. Myers scent. And I actually use it in the laundry detergent as well. That's my favorite laundry detergent. So the question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite laundry detergent? Let me know in the comments and you are entered to win. Now this giveaway is only open for 24 hours. So as soon as this video posts, it has 24 hours for the giveaway. And then I will pick a random winner and let you guys know who it was in the comments. And I also contact that person through their comment and that way they can claim their prize. So like I said, all you have to do is answer the question, what is your favorite laundry detergent? Comment it below and you are entered. Don't forget to go check out Emily's video. I have her link down in the description box. It's Emily from Mama From Scratch and you guys will love her and I know that she's gonna have a really good video for you today as well. And if you're new, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and also if you need more decluttering motivation, I have some more decluttering videos. My whole decluttering series is in the playlist in the description box too, so go check that out as well. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.